you have a few players absent from this squad. Um, how far away were Norwegian Martin Odegaard? Uh, how far away was he from being included in the squad traveling to Sweden? In this case, he was training with us the last day, but we have to decide in, te in terms of uh, which players because the position. So he was close, very close, but uh, in the end, uh, the position that the where he plays uh, was covered. So we have to use another players. Does he have a chance to play at the first team uh, this year, or or do you maybe concede to to send him on the loan uh, in, in the new year? No, at the moment he's playing with the second team. He's training with us some days, and after with the uh, second team, and that is the way he has to grow. He has to um, keep improving, and I think he's quite professional and he's focused. So I don't see any problem for him to progress in, and after we will decide in the future. I got it. Uh, the main thing I was talking, uh, obviously, with my players about the team and with Nacho about the players that he can, he can uh, play against, and it's just to analyze the other team, see the videos, prepare the the game like uh, in the other games, and give them value. So if they are playing Champions League, means that they deserve to be here. So we have to respect all the the teams, and uh, we have the experience that when you go on the pitch without this uh, mentality, uh, I think you have problems. So we have to concentrate. We have to. Uh, play uh, as well as we can and respect the other team because I am sure that they will have energy and they will give 100%. So I was reading the comments of uh, the coach. So I think it's important for us to concentrate and that is the message that we are giving to our players every time. If you have to bet now, if we have uh, 31 chances in the next game, do you think that we will score? So it's just a carry on doing more or less the same things and changing a little bit, uh, trying to create more clear chances if we can.